blah, 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 blah. Okay, so uh, Lucky Cat's actually been adding a whole lot of these uh, forks. Um, and remember, we have a warning from MDV that from his past experience, these don't work. But then now that I'm in the game, maybe things will, you know, change. You know, because obviously, you know, God's got my back. Jesus Christ has my back. However, I don't know who the dev of this per of these projects are. So therefore, I don't like if the person if the person on the other end who's like running these websites is an actual Christian, and that actually improves our odds of success. Notice I said improves our odds of success. I didn't say it's a guarantee of success. Right? A very big difference. So, you know, with that being said, you know, whatever. I mean, a project's a project, right? Content is content. And it's up to you to decide if you want to do this. So me personally, I'm already in enough of these lucky cats. Also, I want to stay away from AVAX until the gas fee situation is finally resolved, which means that we have to wait for stupid Krabata game to go away. Let me see. What is it right now? Uh, so it's actually a little more uh, tolerable than normal, but this is still way too high. I mean, it costs me like five dollars to try to compound my stupid um, playmates and mansions so all, all it's doing right now is just accumulating playmates <laughs> it's it's like i can't do anything with it and i'm not i'm too cheap to pay five bucks even though i can easily pay it of course but i'm like you know what f this shit yeah i mean look at this even this, this thing never drops below like 28 percent. it's like it's just ridiculous man yeah so anyway uh, at first I thought this is a little low, right? Obviously it's not nearly as big as like Ruby Mine, right? Because Ruby Mine is a fork of Baked Beans and Baked Beans is a fork of BNB Miner Finance. So BNB Miner Finance was the original one. However, Baked Beans did something different. They actually implemented the 6-1 system that they have. Compound six times, six days a week, withdraw uh, once a week. And then they have the code, I guess, to enforce it. I mean, I'll find out this coming Saturday because I only invested in Ruby Mine this Saturday. So I want to make the weekends the time that I withdraw something like that weekly because I want to make sure I just don't have any distractions, right? And it's the weekend. So it's like, oh, everyone's on vacation, right, for a couple days. So let's see. Let me make sure I get this. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oops. Uh, let me connect again. All right, so Lucky Cat's got like 11 kajillion forks. They, act they actually added a new one called Sheet Miner. I'm not going to bother with that because I don't feel like adding some weird whatever. Obviously, it probably, you know, is going to make him extra money, so that's good. Because the more money he makes, the better this will go. And I've actually been pumping a lot of money into the Binance dollar version of Lucky Cat. Cause, because I think that'll actually last longer than the bnb version of lucky cat which has actually been growing too they've got with the exception of phantom lucky cat everything else has actually been growing from what i can tell right and i'm obviously watching it constantly because the second that i see let's say phantom goes below twenty thousand, forget about compounding i'm withdrawing all my money like I, i've actually been shifting my playlist a lot like do i want to add phantom lucky cat to the playlist or remove it because i'm not really sure so, you know, just make sure, I mean, I won't, I won't remember to put, write this, what I'm saying now in the description, but make sure, I don't know, one of you guys discuss it or one of you girls discusses it in the, in the comments. So, and by the way, thank you to all the new people, uh, subscribing. It's, yeah, I don't know what it is about YouTube, but it's just, it, like the subscribers just come in bursts. So I just assume that YouTube's just, I don't know, processing people. <laughs> I know, that just sounds so like inhumane, like processing people like your cattle or something. I don't know, like, the, the YouTube office is a big behemoth, and it just takes them a while to, like, you know, gather the correct data and make all the right connections or whatever the hell it is. Okay, so, all right, so, well, the first thing I want to do is find out how much money this really is, so I can get an idea, because this doesn't sound like a lot, of, a lot, but remember, Avalanche is, like, so, it's like a giant number, so... Uh, here's the amount of AVAX, and it was $76, and I think 13 cents, something like that. So this is worth $37,541. So this is already worth more than the Phantom version, or it's about the same as the Phantom version. So, okay, so that's like, okay. All right, so you just got your standard here, 8% daily. The dev takes 1% as a cut, and then, of course, you have a referral link, which I will not be sh uh, giving out because, obviously, I don't care. So just uh, just do whatever you want with this. So, I mean, it's 9.02 a.m. I actually want to go through these other lucky cats real quick. 
Uh, and then this is actually, someone suggested this, a uh, hybrid finance. I think it was the Elite Discord, because someone in the YouTube comments suggested Haruno something, and I can't find it on the XYZ site. So, I don't know, you have to check the spelling and leave a comment, because it, if it's not, if it's actually not on this, uh, you know, XYZ site, which is Team Fork Watch, if it doesn't show up here, uh, I won't, I will not bother to cover it, alright, and on top of that, oh, I, uh, yeah, I probably could say this, and then I'll end the video real quick, I mean, yeah, these, I mean, these are pretty nice, so just enjoy them while you can, um, because I still have to do Bay Finance, I think I'll just wait till tomorrow, because I don't really feel like doing too much, it's a nice day out, Yesterday it was cloudy and I didn't really do much exercise, so I really need to get some exercise. Specifically, I need to walk. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Shit, this was actually important. Oh yeah, now I remember. So Sphere Finance is now like 9 cents, 9.1 cents. It's going much higher. It's going to a dollar or two dollars. That's my personal estimate, right? Because Sim is, because obviously, you know, I've been telling you, I know Sim, right? You know, I mean... It's been a long time since he and I chatted, but there's no point in me talking to him. I mean, he's he's a multi decla millionaire at this point, because I don't know how he... To I assume he is, because he's got to have to have a lot of tokens. At least I hope he does, right? Um, and Well, actually, yeah, because he technically has access to the freaking treasury. So, yeah, just... That treasury is basically his, his money. <laughs> That's how I look at it, right? And now that I'm eventually going to create my own offshore company... Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive. I'm thinking four or five thousand dollars to set myself up for an offshore company, and I think Nevis. If, uh, I mean, I'll have to talk to the web, uh, the people at the website, right? Off these guys, offshore company. I better actually make sure I get the right URL. No, it's not the corp. Offshore company fees. Let me see. This is a different company, but uh, service fee for the first year. Yeah, because uh, what these tax havens do is they make their money off of the yearly fee. So, this is Belize, British Virgin Islands. Yeah, these are very reasonable. But I obviously want to make sure I go with the, uh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, it's these guys. They even advertise for their own thing. Yeah, and they've been around, I mean, my camera's covering, but it says since 1906. Believe it or not, I might actually do a video on this. And it's actually going to go into my playlist about how my personal degen strategy, because regardless of where you live in the world, you actually need to do this too. Because it'll help legally, that was the word, legally avoid taxes. Um, and now that I've actually kind of figured out how this works, uh, you can legally pay zero taxes. All right, and there's nothing your tax authority can do because technically you don't actually own anything. Your company owns everything. But if you take a salary from the company and put in your own personal bank account, then yeah, you have to pay the taxes on that. So if you're if you're like Google and Facebook, all right, and you actually understand the game of money like Trump and I myself do, you will never pay yourself anything. Your company will own everything. So it's really a foreign investor and a foreign company doing all the stuff. So for example, I have to have to pay rent in this apartment. Let's say, and I put on the credit card for the Amazon cashback rewards, right? So what will happen if my offshore company pays off the debt on my credit card bill, right? Every month. Well, guess what? I don't own anything. On top of that, I'm borrowing money. I'm not actually earning an income. That's it. <laughs> That's how the game works, okay? So, you know, and I don't know. You can read this shit on your own if you want. But, you know, we'll, 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 when I actually make my own company, I actually figure out what the hell... It'll, all this stuff means, you know, I'll do the video on it, right, so, yeah, so anyway, uh, so check out Lucky Cat AVAX, Sphere is going much higher, you know, things are, you know, moving along very, very nicely, and like I always say, right, listen to Jesse Lee Peterson, go forgive your mom and dad, then do the silent prayer every morning, every night, so that that way, you know, God will just shower you with, you know, with everything that you really want, right, essentially, because Satan also kind of does the same thing, but Satan does it so that you'll eventually, like, die or something uh, before your time, and then you'll spend eternity in hell or whatever the hell you go. If you do it the bad way, right? If you do it the good way, then you can be in heaven and all that stuff. So, I'm not going to personally invest in this, but that's because I already, A, to reiterate, I don't want to deal with the AVAX gas fees, because Krabata Games going to be here for at least another month. All right, I'm totally expecting them to delay it, and they'll still they'll just be here forever, and it's just like it's just gonna be very G word. Number two, I'm already pretty happy with Ruby Mine on Avax, right? And number three, I have to 
I have to actually think about sustainability issues as well because we're not really sure if it, you know how long this will last. I'm I, I'm already because the next projects we're gonna show I'm gonna show is Cardano and Polymatic. So I think those are doing all right, right? And I know the Milko Media Cardano, which is this. Let me show zero because I have to switch the chain. That actually has been growing. So and I'm actually playing the PvP battle for Milk Sheba. So and there are other reasons too. So I'll explain in the next video for this. So it it it, it so it's really just Phantom and Avax that you know you have to be very careful of. All right. So I'm already in Phantom because I didn't know any better. Uh, but with that being said, it's doing okay. So, but you know, I want to concentrate on just one of the risky lucky cat projects. If I have to split the tension between these two, it's like, forget about it. So it's like, you know, I don't want to deal with it. I mean, I'm already earning like, you know, seven, 8% or whatever the hell it is in the other lucky cats anyway. So it's just a matter of personal preference. So anyway, check out lucky cat AVAX. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe. Spread the channel around. Thank you to all again to all the new people coming in. We're only gonna grow. All right, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get really effing rich. I'm gonna you know gonna be have you're gonna you're, you're gonna have it's like imagine having all the benefits of like Donald Trump but with none of the downsides. That's who I'm gonna be. All right, you know also I'm not a boomer so I'm not held back by conventional boomer thinking which has completely fucked up the world. All right, all the things that all the bad things happening in the world now is because of their generation. And because the because the kids they had were the millennials, which is my generation, were equally as stupid and retarded. So that's why everything's a mess in the world. But the good news is God always wins and he's making a strong comeback. And eventually all these all these problems that we're having, you know, they'll eventually just go away. And the only options left really for like I mean, I because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the deep state really has thought about launching nukes, right? Just to say, you know, fuck all this, right? But I mean, the entire world's like, no, go after yourself. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting to see what will happen, you know, because everyone's moving away from the West and America in general, right? India's moving away, Pakistan's moving away, uh, the Muslim uh, Saudi Arabia's already moving away, right? They're all going towards China, right? China's act China and I guess to a lesser degree Russia are actually making new relationships and alliances and also settling their differences. So that's a good thing, right? You know, you don't want people going at uh, going at each other's throats forever, right? And then everyone's just getting kind of annoyed with the CIA in America, which is again a good thing. So I don't know. I have to check because uh, I'm just doing these videos now. I haven't I haven't uh, seen Greg Manorino's latest video for today, which should be out any minute. And then, of course, I have to catch up with my Andre Wang Daily Wire news because that's actually where I primarily get my news now. And I, on my Twitter, occasionally I take screenshots of it, you know. So yeah, and yeah, that's funny too. Like so Sweden said they wanted to join NATO, and then literally one hour later, they just like. No, 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 because they said we we're definitely joining NATO, and then one hour later, like, no, 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 it hasn't, nothing has been, nothing has been set in stone, we don't know if we're gonna, it's like, we're not, we don't know if we're gonna join NATO, and I'm like, what the hell, it's like, how, how, like, I don't understand how the West has gotten so powerful, like, behaving like this, but it, it's exactly Andre Wang said, you know, they're, the boomer, the great generation was the generation before the boomers, right, the World War II generation, they knew what they were doing, and then they handed it to their kids, which is the boomers and millennials, and then we're just screwing it up because we don't know what we're doing because we're retarded. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, but, you know, we'll see. Central banks are still in control, so, for now, for now, so. Right, anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so I'll see you next video. It should be, yeah, Milko Medio Cardano. Lucky cat, and then uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think the future is still. I mean, as much as nice as the other non ERC twenty, I think they call it EVM compatible. I think that's what it is, All right? Basically, if you can use it on MetaMask, then it's EVM compatible. Obviously, that's what they're calling it. As not as nice as these other blockchains are doing, nothing beats the power of a network, right? Yeah, Ethereum is on top because everyone else is basically tied to Ethereum too. Binance Coin. You know, you can switch between Binance Coin and Ethereum very easily. Uh, I think Shiba Inu apparently has their own uh, thing because that Lucky Cat added it. All right, so there's that. Even Kronos with their own blockchain and they're everywhere. They also create an EVM compatible version of themselves. 
Polygon, etc., etc., etc. Right? That EVM compatible network is just growing. So, you know, I, I thought that sphere is on Polygon, which is EVM compatible. So, you know, where you, where's all the money in the world? It's in Ethereum, essentially, in the Ethereum ecosystem. So, anyway. Yeah, if I had time, if we had time, I would draw a whole picture for you and I would compare it to every other block competing blockchain and then you would actually visually see just how much bigger Ethereum is. So, oh yeah, of course, and we're on AVAX too. So, you know, that's EVM compatible as well. Even though AVAX actually has their own chain too. But I don't use it. I use the EVM compatible version of AVAX. <clears throat> so, all right. See you next video. I better get this thing uh, out there. And on top of that, video is now a little under 16 minutes.